In this 60 second PD, we're going to look at how to set up a Google form that I reused from a previous class. So I'm going to, I, I created and I reused a post and I pulled in this quiz, which is a Google form. So I'm going to now go into that actual Google form and edit it. And under responses, I have all my previous semester responses from students, which I don't long, I no longer need. I'm going to delete all of those responses because those grades have already been input and we're moving on to a new semester, new students, and I want to reuse this form and not have multiple copies of the form in my drive. The other thing I'm going to do is unlink the form, which really this should say unlink spreadsheet, which is currently linked to this spreadsheet, right? So I'm going to unlink them, meaning all new responses that come in will not go to that same form and confirm. So now when I click this it's going to create another spreadsheet and I would just change the name to maybe spring 2021 and now it creates a new spreadsheet with my new answers coming in. Alternatively you could use the same spreadsheet so you would not unlink the form you would keep it there and you could either hide all the rows of responses that have already been input if you want to maybe access them later or if you want to just delete what is here you don't want to just highlight the cell and delete because let's say you have 56 responses if you just highlight the cells and delete all new form inputs will come in and they'll start on number 57 even though you've cleared these cells it will start on number 57 and so when you open your document it's going to look like there's nothing been put into the spreadsheet because normally we're not going to scroll down multiple blank cells to see if there's anything much later. If you want to just delete and use the same spreadsheet you want to highlight the actual number over here of the row and then right click and you're going to delete rows 2 through 17 or whatever your number is. Once you actually delete the rows, all new form submissions will then come in starting at the top. 